Hey everybody, it's Carmel here. Welcome to my channel. I have a scrapbook.com haul for you today. I placed an order over the Christmas holidays and it finally arrived during the week. So I thought I would just jump on and share with you what I picked up. Now, most of this haul is going to be just one paper collection. So if, if that's not your thing, then, you know, look away now. It's okay. I understand. I did get a couple of other bits, but uh, um, I'll show you those at the end. I'm just going to show you the collection first. And it's this one here. It's by P13. They're a Polish company. And this is called Woodland Cuties. And it said my name all over it. If you've been watching my channel at all, you'll know that if there's an image like that in the paper collection, then it's a done deal for me. It's in the cart. <laughs> no discussion. But this is just such a stunning collection. There's not a single paper in this collection that I'm not in love with. It's all just gorgeous. And I love the, the inside covers as well. You get cut apart, so there's no wastage whatsoever. And it's a really lovely weight too. It's 240 GSM, really nice quality. But I'll just do a flip through. And what I love about it as well is that they're double sided, but every paper in it is stunning. Look at all those images. How cute are they? I would just fussy cut those and turn them into embellishments. Just adorable, just stunning, stunning. Ooh, they little cut apart. No, even the font on the Celebrate, just everything about it is just beautiful. And this guy here and the little squirrel doing his Insta pose on his tree stump. Gorgeous. I love this wood panel as well. Really, really beautiful. Just so pretty and delicate and uh, pastel cuteness. Gorge. I just keep staring at the papers. Please feel free to move on, guys, because uh, I clearly can't move on. I just want to drool over the papers. <laughs> gorgeous i love this strawberry the back of this one is um now i wouldn't use this this is obviously for you know kids birthday cards or or whatever you could i suppose you could fussy cut the images and leave out the numbers but i love the reverse of it it's just beautiful it's a pale i don't know how well it's going to show up on camera but it's just a pale pale strawberry red color with tiny strawberries images i'm a sucker for a strawberry print of any kind but this is just beautiful gorgeous gorgeous get some balloons here if you're into card making or that kind of thing and then you get the the full sheet with uh, different images on the base and uh, and then it repeats but just a really really gorgeous collection I'm not usually a full collection kind of person i will usually just pick the pieces that i like and then use stuff from my own stash to to mix and match with it but i did go all out with this one i bought almost everything in the collection i think i got these cardstock sticker sheets and uh, just gorgeous gorgeous <laughs> how adorable and you get these little banner stickers as well just super super cute super cute and then you get the images and I, I would definitely turn these into embellishments i have those you know those domed clear sticky back to put over on a, on a little wooden surround or for the button maker as well they'd be gorgeous just really pretty look gorgeous so I got some other bits and pieces as well. I got the ephemera and then I got these pieces as well. I haven't actually opened these, but the, the packaging is just gorgeous with the strawberry. I don't want to tear the packaging, but I'm going to do this carefully, maybe uh, off camera. So these are the banner pieces. I've just taken them out so you can see them. This is from the, uh, the garland pack and these are absolutely beautiful. Those images are gorgeous and they're all double sided as well. Really, really nice. And a nice heavyweight as well. So you could, you know, you could turn them into embellishments. You could make a banner. You could make a tag flip with them. Just really, really gorgeous. Beautiful and so pretty. Look at the strawberries. I hope they're turning out. Am I in focus? Am I off? Out of frame? Who knows what it's going to turn out like in the edit. But um, you get the idea. Really, really beautiful. These ones are from this set here. It's called decorative tags and they are again the same images. Just absolutely beautiful. And not all of them are punched either. So you could just turn those into embellishments and instead of tags, instead of having the hole at the top. But really, really pretty. And then this is the, the ephemera pack here. And these are just stunning. I don't usually buy a lot of ephemera. I kind of I prefer to stamp and die cut and, and color kind of you know make my own ephemera i know that's more work but uh i just prefer that in, in my own crafting but i'm really really glad i got this because these are just stunning and there's no stamps with this collection either which is such a shame because they are beautiful look they're gorgeous the strawberry how beautiful are they really really beautiful i also got this uh traveler's notebook that came with the collection i'm going to open this 
this is it here and just gorgeous back cover it's beautiful it is um it is blank inside which is a little bit disappointing i would have loved to have uh, some of the images on the inside but i will definitely use it it's super cute so i got a couple of uh 12 by 12 pieces i didn't get the whole 12 by 12 pack i just picked out the ones that i liked and got a couple each of those but gorgeous two of those and a beautiful paper on the back with the strawberries beautiful beautiful and then these ones of course they couldn't resist these who could resist those look at the fox adorbs the back is absolutely beautiful as well if you wanted to make an album any projects at all this is going to be absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to play with these and these numbers again i really got these for the strawberries on the back because those strawberries are just divine gorge and then this one here and this is the part where you fast forward guys if you haven't already fast forwarded <laughs> this is the part where i forget that i'm making a video and i just get stuck drooling over the gorgeousness of the paper because look at those strawberries look at these oh they're cups of tea seriously seriously and the little strawberry vine going around their house oh my goodness adorbs beautiful 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 and that wood grain on the back gorgeous gorgeous and then this one uh the cut apart sheets i think i got two or three of these yes i did there's nothing as bad as uh, fussy cutting your last image from a paper collection <laughs> there we go. i don't have any more of it especially when you're on a no spend like me <laughs> also i did get a few of these but these look at the whole line of them gorgeous i said that's that i would make that into a home decor project and just have a banner and then have some strawberry garlands going around it was gorgeous <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous so i got a couple of those so that's everything i got from that collection so i'll show you the uh the other bits and bobs that i added to my cart while i was on scrapbook.com i got the sticker sheet from simple stories it's from pet shop dog and i love it it's just adorable it's so cute Look at the toy. i didn't buy any papers uh, from this collection because if there's one thing I don't need in my stash, it's more dog and cat themed papers. I really don't. I don't need any new papers in my stash of any kind, but definitely not dogs because I have tons. I got the sticker sheet because it, it's super cute and I love the sentiment stickers as well. And these will go with a lot of collections that I already have in my stash. Just adorable. Look at the Shih Tzu with the bow. Adorable. The bulldog. <laughs> the collar. This is gorgeous. Love, love. And then while I was on, they also had a, a doodle bug sale going on. She says, <laughs> trying to remain neutral. <laughs> Those are dangerous words to say to me, my friends. There's a doodle bug sale. You know, it's like, save me now, somebody, please. But I was good. I didn't go crazy. I just got a couple of pieces. So I picked up the uh, another six by six of Made with Love. It's one of my favorite all time doodle bug collections. I love it and I'll be using it forever. And so I wanted another six by six in that. I also got some uh, shaped sprinkles. These are from one of the baby collections, Nighty Night. But uh, clouds and puffy stars up there. So then the last thing I got from Doodlebug is I uh, picked up some more of these puffy heart stickers. I'm loving these. I got a couple of packs of these in the last haul. I got the pink ones and the brown ones and just to see what they were like. And they're really gorgeous. But I thought I'd ordered more of them this time around. I thought I got the mint ones and the red ones. And I think they have, uh, I think they have orange ones as well. And I thought I'd order a few packs, but apparently I only ordered the yellow ones. Well, that's okay. I will just have to cope. <laughs> I have, I mean, it's not like I'm short of heart stickers in my stash. I have tons, so I will manage. So the last thing I have is the freebie item uh, that they sent. I love that about scrapbook.com. They always give you a choice of freebies to add into your order, and it's lovely. I went with um, the rainbow glitter paper pack. This was one of the freebies they had on offer the day I placed my order. And it's really, really gorgeous. It's obviously a slimline pad for uh, slimline cards. And I'm not a card maker, but I'll definitely use this for you. could use this on any projects. It doesn't have to be slimline cards, but really, really pretty, gorgeous colors and non-shed glitter too. So really lovely. Uh, the only thing I'm not so crazy about this is, is it's very flimsy. It's not cardstock by any stretch. It's very flimsy paper. So if you were going to use it as a base for a project or as a die cut embellishment or something like that, you will need to back it on um on cardstock but it's lovely and it was free so i'm very grateful for it so that's my haul for today guys i hope you enjoyed it i'll have another haul coming soon i'll have a, an aliexpress haul coming in the next week or so hopefully uh, i'm just waiting on a couple of items to arrive 
from the order I placed at Christmas. So uh, keep an eye out for that one. But I am on a no spend until my birthday in June. <laughs> so um, there won't be too many hauls between now and then. And it's going okay so far, you know, and I'm still watching haul videos and seeing lots of things and adding lots of things to my wish list and various cards here and there. But um, I haven't seen anything so far that I've, that's really, you know, pushed me over the edge and made me crash. And there's my cat saying hello. Hello. What the matter? It's lunchtime and she gets treats at lunchtime. So sorry about that, guys. It was just my cat uh, photo bombing. And there she goes again. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let me just put her down. Down. Good girl. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Yeah, the no spend is going really well. I have nothing to report. I haven't uh, crashed and burned. Or there's only been one thing really that's kind of lured me towards the place your order button, if you want to put it that way. Uh, and it was a uh, lawn fawn had a release before Christmas and it's a beaver collection. Uh, I love beavers. And there's one, uh, there's one small stamp set in it and it's just a pair of beavers hugging it out. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I think it's called uh, So Damn Loved or So Cute or something like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the great thing about Lawn Fawn is that they, they mass produce their releases. So, you know, it'll be available for a long time. So I don't need to buy it just now. And in the meantime, I have tons and tons of stamp sets to keep me busy. You know, I'm not exactly deprived, you know, so it's all good. So thanks so much for stopping by today, guys, and spending time with me at my little crafty corner here on YouTube. If you do like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel. And thank you so much to all of you who've already done that. So I hope you're all good. Uh, can't wait to check out more of your videos this weekend and see what you guys have been up to. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you again for watching and take care out there and I'll chat to you all in the next one. Bye bye.